The FMB is a really good display. The firmware on both units is essentially the same other than you saw the FMX has the capabilities of doing video input. And that's a nice little feature because you can see a lot of people in the, in the industry are growers and farmers are wanting to watch certain functionalities on a screen that they can't see that's 30 feet behind them. So it puts it on a nice little view in front. As well, I suppose it will allow them to watch the movies as they're going to need something to do in the tractors, I guess. But it does have the, it allows us to take what the FMD was in just the display and add in two receivers with GPS and glow on us, add in a radio to expand on and help our dealers build their RTK networks, which is a, is a great point in itself with our dealers having 300 plus million acres covered in RTK signal worldwide. So we want features and functionality that is not only easier and, and makes sense for the dealers, but at the end of the day, it makes sense for the end users to sell that product. If you have individual componentry, it's much more difficult to provide a lower cost solution to the end user and provide a faster return on investment. So what this allows us to do is have that all integrated together with the FMX and provide a more integrated solution, and provide a lower cost and faster return on investment to the end user. That is what does this give us, as Rob was just talking about, so with GPS, you have 32 satellites. During the day, you're going to see somewhere between 6 to 10 satellites in a day. That's GPS. With the GLONASS on board, every unit has it in there. The hardware is in there, but you just need to unlock it. We'll give you an additional up to 17 satellites. The satellite is, again, just like the 32 satellites and 17. You don't see those at one time. So... What's really neat is when you're out in the farm show and you get her out and watching these guys run, well, they might have been running with eight satellites. Now you go to a system that's running GPS and GLONASS and you're seeing 13, 14 satellites. It's more runtime, better coverage, better things around trees or any foliage or anything like that. So it, it really the accuracy doesn't increase. You don't go from two inches to one inch. You just get really no downtime. You don't have to worry about not having enough satellites to be able to run your system. Your accuracy comes from your differential correction, whether it's WAS, Omnistar, or RTK solutions. For the same technology we've done with RTK, the real-time schematics, Trimble designed it 18 years ago. We brought that we brought that application into the ag market six, seven, eight years ago. So it's already there. We just use something that the company already had. All right, so the FMX, integrated display. That's the key point there. It is Trimble design hardware, fully done by Trimble engineers. It's the largest in the industry, 12.1 inch screen, touch screen, which is, is key is we really did not make the unit bigger, but we really maximized the screen to fit into the system. So there are systems that are exact same dimensions, screen size is much smaller than what we have in, in the industry today. What does that give you? It gives you better visibility um, in the cab. You're getting rid of the, the cab cutter, but yet you have more functionality going on in this screen that you want to be able to see what's going on at one time. And especially when you start putting your four channel rates in here and you got a camera in here, you're watching little videos and at the same time your run screen is going on. A lot of things happening. Built into the system, this needs to be updated. It is two GPS plus GLONASS receivers. It's not just GLONASS, it is both of those. So we have GPS 1 and GPS 2. And this will allow the grower to start at the low end level, which would be your GPS system at $6,000, which comes with one of these unlocked, all the hardware still there. If he can then go through the upgrade process of just unlocking it at $2,000 increments, add a radio for the RTK, now we can go all the way up to the blown off system. The radio is also right in the housing. When you go to the RTK level and higher, the radio will be put in behind this little door here. So again, there's no other external piece out of the cab. 
for video inputs. These are CAN based systems. So if we were to tie up, you know, a camera one, two, three, and four, each one of these has replicators, so it creates another four ports. So it allows us to expand to add up the other functionalities that we're plugging in with our guidance solutions and so forth. USB port for data transfer or updating firmware. And of course we have our power button and our brightness of our screen.